Vision Entertainment, where warriors are made champions. the beautiful sights of the San Francisco Bay Area. Square Vision Entertainment brings you the Square Warriors Championship. More talented fighters ready for action tonight in World Class Boxing. Okay, I think now Wade Wilson is ready. Ladies and gentlemen, all flights under the authority of the California State Athletic Commission, John Carvelli Chair, Andy Foster, Executive Officer. Your lead for tonight is Mike Guzman. Your referee, should the fights go the distance, sorry, your judges, should the fights go the distance, Susan Thomas Gidlin, Bruce Rasmussen, and Marty Selman. Your referees for tonight, Mr. Mike Morgado. reception up for uh, Jesus baby face Sanchez out of San Pablo California just up the street so you expect that kind of reception yeah. and this is gonna be an interesting fight because Morris Rodriguez has beaten some good fighters like Jonathan Chicas so we're gonna see what Jesus has fighting a fighter of this caliber. Definitely an advantage over Jesus Babyface Sanchez. In uh, lot, looks a lot taller than the opponent. Let's see if he's able to use some of that for his advantage. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our fighters in the ring first. With a professional record of one win, one loss, zero draws, he weighed in tonight at 142 pounds. From San Pablo, California, let's hear it. His opponent fighting out of the red corner has a professional record of five wins and eight losses, one draw. He weighed in tonight at 144 pounds. From Sacramento, California, let's hear it for more. Oh, you're getting some uh, support behind him. How difficult, Joseph, is it to fight somebody that is, like in this case, a lot taller than you? Well, I believe that um, the main advantage that the taller person gets is that they can keep their distance and work you from the outside. But in my case, I happen to be an aggressive fighter and work from the inside and break them down from the body. Okay, so we're set. We're ready to go for this uh, fourth round uh, bout. 147 uh, pound limit, although they both came in light. Yeah. Um, I think the, the key we just talked about is uh, can Jesus keep Morris Rodriguez off of him? He's a puncher, and we know what he's coming here to do. He's going to try to close the distance. So let's see how this goes. Rodriguez has the advantage on experience. Let's see if he can work that to his side. Sanchez looks physically uh, not taller. Let's see what he can do now in the ring. Coming in from the left, uh, left guard. Rodriguez is looking pretty good, keeping his distance. See, so just fully, um, Jesus just fully extended on a good left hand. Uh, Morris Rodriguez does not want that to keep happening. 
he needs to set up some feints or he needs to make an adjustment. This is very early in the fight. He's a very experienced fighter, so I expect him to make an adjustment pretty soon. Rodriguez is also coming in very cautiously. He's pretty much holding his ground. Well, That's uh, what Morris Rodriguez is known for. Coming in, attacking. Good left hand there by uh, Rodriguez. No, oh, great by now punching out from Sanchez. This is not going to last too long. This is the type of fight Morris Rodriguez wants, though, because he can't fight at distance. He has to fight in the pocket. So even though Jesus was getting a good exchange right there, he's playing into Morris Rodriguez right here. Um, but we got ourselves a fight. And both men are kind of dropping their hands at times when they're punching, which means they can be hit. Now, uh, Rodriguez uh, bases uh, Sanchez now at the gender change. Exchanging blows back and forth. At times, Sanchez is dropping his hand and he's letting the left hook land from Rodriguez. And I think he's trying to land that over and over right here. He's getting good leverage on his punches, Rodriguez is. Sanchez is letting him come in now to where, it, in the inside where it, is, it becomes Rodriguez's advantage. And one thing that's tough about this, if you have the natural physical abilities to, make, to be able to fight at distance, is once you start fighting this kind of fight, it's hard to fight at distance afterwards. Now they both got into each other fights. So that's going to be, looks like a free for all. Yep. They slowed down considerably since the, uh, the first round, uh, the first belt sounded. Looks like Jesus is looking for a, a left uppercut. It looks like he's trying to catch him, that Morris is bringing his head down. Let's see if he's trying to look for that punch. Nothing fancy about Rodriguez. He's pretty good, straight punching and connecting. So it uh, looks like the, the, guy, the one that was made with, able to do better adjustments was Rodriguez. Crafty also. Well, you're, you're seeing that experience from Rodriguez. You know, he might not have the best record, but he has a lot of fights, and that matters. Even now from the south, uh, southpaw stance isn't helping much. Now uh, Sanchez is bleeding now from the mouth and the nose. Good punch, good straight right hand by uh, Sanchez. Difficult to score this round. Very hard round to score. I give the slight edge to Morris Rodriguez, but that's a round that you, you can call that a swing round. Either man could have won that round. I think Morris did just a little bit, but let's see how much more he has left because he started very fast. I mean, they're in there. I guess they see something we don't. I can't really question it, but. Well, they already plugged the uh, hemorrhage out of uh, Sanchez's nose. So he starts fresh out of the second round. It's a four round fight. Welterweight division. I'm seeing Sanchez making a good adjustment here in the beginning that he's, he's throwing a lot of punches that are straight and at distance. You know, he's not just giving it, uh, Morris Rodriguez, he's not just letting him walk in anymore. He's making him have to earn it, and that's uh, very important when you have a height advantage. Leaning in with some of these shots, though. But now San Rodriguez is able to adjust again, narrow the uh, distance between him, and goes right back to work again. Let's see. And it, it, it seems like uh, at one point Sanchez had the advantage, but back comes Rodriguez and just snaps a short right hand there. This is the kind of fight people want to see. This is very evenly matched, and this is a very fan-friendly fight. They're just standing there trading and trying to figure out which man punches harder. That's the kind of fight we got right now. And that was a very good body shot landed by Sanchez. That was a very good one. I want to look at, oh, we got ourselves a fight. Rodriguez out of the window now. Sanchez's strategy at the beginning of the round. Right back to where uh, they ended up the first round, which Sanchez or Rodriguez fighting in the inside, and Sanchez trying to keep him away. And Morris Rodriguez is real tricky. He he has little tricks where he knows how to come inside, and he's he's shifting his weight and throwing punches when he's moving in, and it's making it very difficult for Sanchez to get off his shots. This is following the same uh, rhythm as the last fight again slowing down towards the middle of the round. 
Down he goes. I don't know if I he, think that was a headbutt. I don't know if it, yeah, not only that, but I think he tripped him also. So <laughs> you were looking at the top, I was looking at the bottom. It was a headbutt, a trip. They're still gonna go uh, check because that was that was a really, really terrible call. And what people need to know that are watching this at home, those type of uh, impacts, that can really change a fighter's uh, ability to fight in a fight. You know, you might never recover from this, and it's a, it's not necessarily a punch. Dr. Uh, Gary Furness Fern, uh, is checking him out. Apparently, they're gonna give him the green light. They're gonna make sure that he is able to fight, that he has recuperated from the foam, because it wasn't a punch. They called it a, a hit, but it seemed like it also had been a you know, trip. So it's a combination trip, head, butt. But bottom line, he did go down. The way he went down, he looked like he got head butted. You know, the trajectory and all that. It didn't look like a, um, a punch to me. Now they're going to go to him, but it was one of those things in which the guy's going forward. Sanchez is going forward. Rodriguez, that, that's his path. So then the uh, this is again the second round continuing. And Rodriguez isn't waiting. He's going right for him. See, the thing about fighting a guy like Morris Rodriguez is he's such a veteran of the sport of boxing. He has a lot of tricks, and he's been in a lot of fights, and he hits hard. So this is a very, very tough fight for a guy with three fights. And this is a very, very tough spot to be in when you just got dropped with a headbutt. Well, Michael Bassan out of uh, Square Vision Entertainment, I, I tell him this is a company with no mercy for the fighters. Everybody fights everybody here. Yeah, and, and you see that right here because Morris Rodriguez is a guy who's given a lot. I think there's a problem with his leg, the way he, he moves He tripped back. him again. Did he trip or is his leg, because let's see how he moves. It's the way he moved. It looked. A, it looks like his, his lead leg is moving a little funny to me. His mobility looks like it's impaired. Good couple of uppercuts by uh, Sanchez. He, now he's apparently adjusting, still maintaining a distance. If he, can, if he can keep the distance, he can uh, win the exchanges, but he hasn't been able to do that. So that's the end of round two. Okay, so now we're getting ready for round uh, three. A little bit in the dark on one side. This building was built in 1949, refurbished later on with about a $5 million uh, dollar, uh, refurbishment. Apparently somebody left a wire out somewhere. <laughs> Back to, uh, to the fight, ring three, I mean round three. And again, uh, Sanchez trying to use the distance. And you know that height advantage has been uh, pretty much nullified by now. I mean, he, your, height, your, own, your height's only as good as your use of distance, and he's just not using his distance adequately yet, Sanchez. He's not making him pay to come in. And if you look, Morris Rodriguez is getting real low to come in, and he's nullifying a lot of these shots. Now he got hit even uh, behind the head. But that's the way he just ducked under that particular uh, that particular punch exchange. Another guy that is keeping his distance is Rodriguez. He's the one that's trying to time uh, uh, Sanchez is uh, coming in. Yeah, he's, he's got a lot of tricks. He's bobbing and weaving. He's uh, jabbing with the jabber. He just timed his jab right there, and that's a very difficult veteran move to do. And it makes me wonder if Sanchez has seen this yet, that, that kind of look. He's cutting again. Rodriguez coming in, cutting the distance getting to a position where he can have the advantage nullifying the longer reach by uh, Sanchez. And Sanchez seems to have been having the advantage. He has not just found the, the white. Now he's, he finally gets him. Well, I'd, I'd just like to see Sanchez throw a little bit straighter punches. It looks like at times, oh, he just got caught with a good right hand there by Morris Rodriguez. Um, I'd like to just see him throw straighter punches and not try to load up on one big shot at times. I think he'd have a lot more success. One of like the, right there. One of the things that is happening is that Rodriguez doesn't pull the punches back. You see a lot, uh, making the mistake of pu uh, pulling the punch back, announcing it. Well, they go at nice exchange. Right, nice right hand by Rodriguez. Nothing coming back other than the head, but. So little by little, just uh, not finessing. And that nose is winning. bleeding. Yeah. Yeah, that nose is really bleeding. I, you have to think that that's really impacting Sanchez right now. He's got a lot of blood coming from, I'm not sure if it's his nose or his mouth, but there is a lot of blood well, coming from there. It's the nose, I don't know, but the mouth also, because the, it's running down uh, the, his mouth. Counter, counter. And now he's, again, he's trying 
once in a while he remembers that he should be using the distance. He's just not getting it done. I think that you got, when things are happening, like, oh, that was a good punch. Very good. You have to credit Morris Rodriguez with that because when a guy's not fighting the way that you would expect him to fight, then that probably means the other guy's getting off his best onslaught. And that was a good exchange for Sanchez right there. He made him pay going backwards. But he's wasting a lot of energy, a lot of uh, punches that are missing from a very short distance without announcing the shots. Uh, Rodriguez is coming in and hurting uh, Sanchez even more. Oh, that was a good right hand. He might be rocked. That was a really good right hand. Right back again to Rodriguez, his uh, best possibilities, fighting in the inside. Although for the first time, Sanchez looks to be effective on the counter punch. Well, I think that play, he might have felt some of that power and he might know he needs to really fight back right here to weather this storm. So again, like you said, crowd pleasing, entertaining. It seems to me that each contender is uh, not going down without a fight. I think both of their coaches are going to be a little frustrated after this fight. It is now Sanchez's time. So you notice Rodriguez is really trying to stay in close distance. He does not want that full extension of that left hand. So even when they break, he puts his head down. He tries to get close. Good that up. left hook and yep. right uppercut. Here it comes again. Nice right hand by Sanchez. I'm sorry, by Rodriguez. And again, while well, the first part of the round, Sanchez has, was taking over. Rodriguez is making his way back. It's a good body shot by Sanchez. Oh my goodness, he almost, Rodriguez almost went down. Gave him, hit him with a right that uh, rocked him. You can see his legs bending. I think the rope might have saved him from falling down, but let's see what happens on the, towards the last part of the fight. For the first time, Rodriguez seems to be opening his mouth a bit. Good right hand by, by Rodriguez. I don't know if he's uh, beating them into the punch, but he's, I don't think he's broken his spirit. They're both still going at it. Yeah, this is this is what people pay to see. This is in the pocket fighting. This is uh, just who hits harder. I guess in this case, I don't know who hits harder, but I think some of the better punches were by Rodriguez with isolated punches like now by Sanchez. So I don't know, it's going to be tough for the judges. Here comes Rodriguez again with almost one final right hand. Again, he touches him. And that blood in that fall, in the fall must have come for something on the uh, eyes of the judges. Yeah, and you really got to give both of these guys credit because they are standing in there and they're trading and no one's going down, you know. These punches hurt. Toe to toe. Last seconds. Great fight. Everybody applauds. I think the people appreciate the effort, the entertainment value. And the, uh, well, they, they gave it their all. Yeah. And now you're going to be able to get, have a talk with the winner. Oh. <laughs> what do you think? It was uh, difficult to score. Oh, yeah. Spain, because it's not everybody that can win. And uh, so th that also takes a lot of effort, you know, to be able to stay in the game with uh, knowing that in most cases, you know, be, you're not going to be getting the A side of the fights. Right. So now it's just a little bit of a waiting game. Luke Cattell is up in the ring now to uh, talk to whoever wins. I don't even know if it's going to be a winner. They might, it might be a, a draw, so. Yeah, you never know. We'll see. Six knockouts and six of your fights. You, you don't have to wait for decision. You know what they're going to say, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, now it looks like uh, Wade Wilson is ready. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it one more time for both of these fighters in the ring.
My friends, after four exciting rounds of action, we now go to the scorecards. Bruce Rasmussen and Marty Salmon scored 39-37, with Judge Susan Thomas getting on 40-36. Your winner, by unanimous decision, Jesus! Uh-oh. People are booing this decision. 40 to 39, 37 to 36 in the case of two judges. People are not happy, at least not the crowd here. I think most people saw it a much, much closer. And you gotta remember that there was a bigger fan base on uh, Sanchez, but the boost just seemed a lot bigger by the under, by uh, Rodriguez's side. Rodriguez was uh, felt dejected, gets off the ring without saying a word. He just looks at the judge and says, and I think now you can see why he has lost eight. He, even when he appears to have won, the, the decision goes against him. So now we're gonna go, go talk to Jesus. He's probably telling them, you, you, you could have won, you probably won. So I'm here with Jesus Sanchez after the fight. Talk a little bit about that fight. That was a very action-packed fight. Was that the way that you saw the fight going? Oh, I see videos of him. Um, he, he seemed like he was gonna pressure, and that's what he did. Uh, we tried to use the distance, but we felt like we had power, and we could like we'd be able to back him up. At ringside, we had to fight a very, very close fight. I just heard Morris. Would you be interested in giving him the rematch in the future? Yeah, I'll be sure. I'll be. There you go. Nice what do you work. you want to tell your fans and supporters that came out for you tonight? Where vision entertainment, where warriors are made.